What is going on today? In this video, I am going to show you how I went from zero to one Bitcoin in six months. My name is Aaron and I was on a journey to one Bitcoin. Now I'm on a journey to like a million Bitcoins, okay? But more importantly, I wanna help as many people as I can on their, on their journey to one Bitcoin. I am not your financial advisor. I'm just your, your this random cowboy on, online on YouTube uh, with a little lizard brain, gorilla arms, and diamond hands exploring the wild west of cryptocurrency. I really need to figure out my intro now because it's changing and I'm just like, it, it's fra frazzling me right now. If, go ahead and subscribe button down below if you want to join us a whole bunch of community i think it's very important for you if you're trading crypto hit the notification bell give us a like button on this channel if you want to uh you know help help us grow this platform help other people uh get to one bitcoin as far, as far as yourself if you're if you're in that boat and of course join the saloon uh it's so important for you to join a community of people where you could bounce ideas of find trying to find out like what the market trends are and all that kind of stuff now in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how I went from zero dollars to one Bitcoin in six months. I've been on this journey for one Bitcoin for six months as I started YouTube. I just wanted to document it. And I'm so grateful and, and blessed and humbled that I have a Bitcoin or at least the valuation of a Bitcoin. I still have to make, I have four videos in this series. The first one, I already showed you my portfolio and what I have in Bitcoin. Uh, it's not a true Bitcoin because it's the valuation is higher than the current price of Bitcoin. So I, I do consider that at the level that I wanted to achieve. I just haven't made that decision yet. This video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I got there, what my steps, my mentality, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the third thing is the different goals that I set for myself at the beginning of this journey. And it's this like really coming to a close for me, at least this chapter. And the fourth thing is, um, should I maxi? Should I liquidate and go all in on one Bitcoin? Or should I keep my portfolio diversified? And that's another video for another time. Now, in this video, again, I'm going to show you the steps that I took, what I did, what I like, what how you can duplicate the same things, the things that was unique to me, you probably can't duplicate, but you have probably have your own unique stuff. So there are three major pillars to how I achieved my one Bitcoin from zero to one Bitcoin in six months. Those three pillars are separated into the, like 33% uh, uh, of each. Uh, this is about approximate math. The first way is I earned with my hands. The second way is I earned with my head. And the third way is I earned with my friends. Okay, I earned that Bitcoin with three different ways. So let's go over the first way. The first way I earned with my hands. And what I mean by this is that that third, it's like 33%. I could say that of the 33%, 16.5%, okay, half of that that energy, that effort was came from my job. Okay, I, I work a regular job just like you, just like me. I work a job, a full time job, and I took, you know, my, my part of my salary from that job and pushed it into more crypto. Okay, if you're not doing that, you're not investing. You know what I'm saying? It's like a little worker ant or a little squirrel working every day and then taking a little bit and storing it for the winter. Working a little day, taking a little bit, storing for the winter. And it's this storing, saving mentality that I have that hopefully one day I won't have to save and store up anymore. So that's half of, you know, I have two hands, right? That's one side of uh, working with my hands, Thirty, about 16.5%. The other side was extra jobs, okay? Either... I, I had a side business and I pushed more money into there or I had separate like one-off jobs or bonuses or stimmy checks, those are a big one, that I poured into from there, I poured in. And so here's the thing, if you're getting extra money, I sold things, I sold furniture, I sold, if you're getting extra money, pour it into crypto, pour it into Bitcoin, don't waste it, okay? Another thing is like I stopped, I stopped eating out as much, I stopped, uh, giving myself these frills because this is investing mentality. You know what I mean? Like that. This is the mentality that I had that I only know. This is the only way I know how to get this Bitcoin. I wish I could tell you that I traded my way like this sexy, you know, trader like pamp it. You know what I mean? Saying like I, I, I didn't do that. This is like, this is honest. I literally took some savings from my salary, my regular job. That's one half, and then I did more. Okay. I wasn't playing when I said, I'm selling everything in my house. <laughs> you know, I wasn't playing with that. I was selling, I was doing extra jobs, I was doing more work, I was working harder, more jobs, more, more everything. I had to in increase the influx of my cash, and so that is one third. I worked with my hands. 
The second thing is probably the more sexier part. I worked with my, my brain, my little lizard brain. And these are the trades that I made to make me a lot of money. I, I have bought into a ton of coins, okay? A ton of coins. And those, and I wanna share with, share with you the winning, the biggest wins on those coins that I could remember. I don't have it all journaled. I do remember the biggest losses and it's like a million more losses. Of all these wins, I have a lot of winning trades, but I have uh, probably 10 times as many losing trades because I'm just, I was just gambling away in these meme coins, especially in that bull run up. I'm just being honest with me. I was just throwing half a BNB here, quarter BNB here, one pull bit, and I would lose it. Um, and so, and it would just, it, the project would tank. But of the winning trades that I had made, these are the trades. Um, the first trade uh, that I, comes to mind initially is Sonar. Okay, Sonar is, I mean like I, right now I'm holding more Sonar and I'm like, this is great. So this is a, an awesome trade, it it's, uh, has great utility. I'm, I have videos on it, you can go check those out separately. The second most recent one in memory is this one, Cardano Mini. I know this is a, I know this is a meme coin and some people won't like it, but this is, I literally made it's like two and a half grand, two thousand and a half thousand dollars on Cardano Mini, and if I sell my shares right now on Cardano Mini, I mean, I'm making like two BNB off of it. So, uh, can you duplicate this trade? No, you can't. I wouldn't buy into Cardano Mini now, but look out for de these types of coins, in my opinion, that give good reflect, uh, and you're on the first day, and you're in the like first couple hours, and you know, and then you could, you know, that's what I'm talking about. So you can't exactly duplicate this exact trade, but you could duplicate kind of some of the similar steps. The th another one, Baby Shark Tank. When uh, Elon Musk, this is another strategy, when Elon Musk tweeted Baby Shark Tank, I bought into this immediately and that thing shot to the moon and then I sold. I kept this thing for maybe 12 hours and then I sold out. And I think that's part of to, to what my strategy is with meme coins, hold it very quickly, get in very early and get out of Dodge. The next one is Lithium Finance. This is a different way. This is not, I consider a meme coin. I consider this um, a type of like low cap gem. And I bought in first day when that thing went out. And how did I know about this coin? The the saloon, Half Court, uh, Half Court Kings told me about this. It was the saloon, the Telegram channel. You got to get in there and you got to like read and you got to scan and you, these guys are always talking and you can't be everywhere online at once. But there are these guys, everyone's kind of going. I mean, I mean, let me just give some shout outs. Uh, Antruman, Manushak, uh, Lee, uh, TJ, um, uh, Dr. Faddix, Half Court, of course, um, Keith Tran. I'm just like naming off off the top of my head, but there have been a ton of them. I, and if I missed your name, I'm sorry. There's just so many of you guys join the Telegram 100%. This is not a shill for that. It's just what, just what I know. Uh, Binance Coin is another one. I leveraged heavily on Binance Coin. Um, and then I sold at like $600 when it was around 600, then dropped back down, then I bought in again. It was like an amazing, one of my best ones. Um, and cause I knew the value of when people woke up to Binance um, Smart Chain, it was like, it just went to the roof. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. This is way better than Ethereum. I hate Ethereum, you know what I'm saying? So I hate trading on a Uniswap. It's, it priced me out. Now I could trade on Uniswap because you know, the, I could I could afford the gas fees more, but in the beginning it priced me out, and I was like, oh, th people are going to come here. This is this is this is so much better. Uh, the next one is Pancake Swap again on that same line. Like I was like, you know, uh, people are going to come here over over Uniswap, especially people who don't who can't afford those gas fees. They were like 25, 40, 45 at the time, and then it shot crazy like a hundred or something like that. And so part of my mentality was like. I need to be where people are going to be in the future. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, this is amazing. Why isn't more people here? I'm gonna take up more of this stuff, more of these assets, um, cake and BNB, and you know, trying to uh, assume more people are gonna be there. Moon Pirate. I it was the first time I incurred. A, a, I, I hit the moonshot and then I sold out on the moonshot. I didn't sell the exact top, but who cares? I made. I made like like two grand off of it, which was amazing, <laughs> with like a BNB &B investment. Um, it was like a four egg, it was crazy. Um, it was the first time I saw like uh, like actual, like an actual physical product linked to a crypto and it was rum and I was like, okay, I'm not sure if a lot of people like rum like this in crypto, because you gotta think people in crypto, then people in rum, you know what I mean? Like it didn't make sense to me, but I went all in. I was, I was super aped into that one. Safe Moon. I, I put in like a thousand bucks, it went to like 10 grand, and then it went back down to like 
eight or so, then I sold some. And then, you know, like I'm, I just made probably about six grand total off of Safe Moon, which was amazing. Shiba Inu, I probably made about seven grand off of Shiba Inu. If you're adding these up, yes, I lost a lot of money. I told you, I lost a ton of money and I'm not gonna go back. I have very expensive lessons, you know what I mean? You could you could pay someone else to learn and their education or you could pay and make learn from your mistakes. But this little lizard brain is learning as much as possible. Akita Inu, I made a ton of money, like maybe three grand off of Akita. Terra, I made probably made about three grand, four grand off of a, a Terra. I leveraged heavy on that off of a call from um, a Crypto Banter. And uh, I had to wait like a month for that one to shoot, though. So that was a that was a long one that I had to wait on. Spores Network, I got on like literally like day two or something like that, and it has taken off to the moon. So I'm extremely happy with that. I got in like maybe around here, and it's I mean it's just only been good to me. So it's great. Um, and then uh, of course I can't deny like if you look at my portfolio, you see that this last run up is where I made a lot of that money, maybe like ten grand or something like that. I leveraged heavy into Ethereum, Cardano. Leverage is the wrong word in this in this uh, field, but you know what I mean. I put a lot of money into Ethereum, Cardano. I put a lot into Matic. Um, that's these are my, you know, most of my portfolio is in BNB, uh, ADA, and Polygon currently. Okay, and so that's where I'm at now. That is the second part, me earning with my head. So the first part I earned with my hands, right? I saved, I took extra jobs, I sold a whole bunch of stuff. The second the second part is I, I earned that one Bitcoin with my head. I These trades, if you wanna to try to copy these trades or try to end these different entry points and exit points, you have to make that call. I'm not your financial advisor, I'm just telling you what I, what I did, what worked for me. And you could see that I hit the whole gamut, I hit the whole array. I made t thousands of dollars in meme coins, micro cap coins, large cap coins, and I was I was trading Bitcoin for a little bit, uh, and so I was I literally started this journey trying to explore every nook and cranny of the crypto universe, and I think there's still a lot more to explore, but that's just how I earned it. That's about a third of my earnings of Bitcoin in my portfolio, and the last third, um, and this might be silly or whatever but i really do believe this is my friends is that the saloon you go into the telegram you go into the saloon boy it is so important to be around like a trusted group of people who's not just chilling shilling you just random coins that they bought their bags in but things that they're like oh i love this coin or this coin is coming in pre-sale or get out or get in or take profits like you need because we're fighting constantly with our own emotions with our where our head and our heart are always at battle at odds and our greedy eyes are like bing you know what i'm saying like we're like we we need that sense of like you know community to to talk us down from our little greedy goggles. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's super important you join that uh, Telegram. I think it's super important that you plug into the Cowboys of Crypto community. Um, you don't have to hit subscribe. It's not about that. This is about you. You need, so when you're investing, you can't be doing it alone. Your other friends out here, like my friends, they don't believe in Bitcoin like you and I do. They don't believe in crypto like, like you and I do, but there's a group of people who do, and it's the Cowboys of Crypto, and we're honest, and we're, we're, we're friendly, and we're respectful, and we have all wide range of different opinions but one thing that holds us in common is we love crypto we believe it in the future and we're trying to get to that one bitcoin okay that's what's happening and so what i did was and maybe this is like a little bit of a shill but i, I mean i don't care um it's a i just created a, a website called the cowboys of crypto i'd love for you to join it it's just my way of giving back to you i want to try to um, make uh, I, I wanted to have like a lot of giveaways on here and um, I have a roadmap for us and uh, you know podcasts and I, I'm trying to translate uh, all the podcasts into the audio so people can listen to it and stuff like we could hit another market and this is my my next one is that um, my friends have like always made this so I've made money off of YouTube as well like this is this is part of it like I wish not this is not duplicatable I understand that but this was a big part of me making that Bitcoin is that my head my heart or my my hands my head and my friends and I consider this the community so I made money off of YouTube and I want to show you I want to show you that um, yeah, I made, uh, I'm making $700, you could see, a month off of YouTube revenue. I also make, um, I was, ch I charge for the AMAs from anywhere from, I was starting at $400 a video, and now I'm up to $1,000 a video on the AMAs. And so I'm, I'm making that, and that's about, comprised so far about a third. I could see that being more of how I'm making my money towards the next Bitcoins. Um, and I said Bitcoins, right? 
but um, and this is very hard to to um, to uh, to um, duplicate for yourself. I understand that not everyone's a YouTuber, not everyone has this kind of stuff um, uh, available to them. But it really is for me like the power of community that um, you know, like people would want to even watch me you know what i'm saying like the that you guys would want to watch me and talk to me and and be in the telegram and be in the saloon all that adds up for me uh that these ad revenues and and uh these other crypto projects wanting to come and and get in front of you guys and and you know use me to really talk to you and so i, I understand that that's not duplicatable for you and but this has just been my journey for this and so this is this is how i explained it uh that you guys are part of it and you, you if you're watching this video and you're this far into it just want to really really thank you from the bottom of my heart that i'm going to have this one bitcoin i'm going to be able to give that away to my my grandchildren and my my great grandchildren you know what i mean I, hopefully that they could use it for some if they if they're stupid and they use it then all this <laughs> yeah i mean like i'll be really mad at them but um yeah i just want to thank you for watching because that is how i really truly earn is because people like you are watching my videos and then it's giving giving me a uh you know this humble attention and that these people want to pay me for that and that you're a part of that so hopefully um i could give you value back through the website through the telegram through and signals i mean i hope i could give you that value back anyway thank you so much for this journey i've got two more videos to make on how on like my thoughts on earning one bitcoin it's just so like it's so future shaking for me and it, i truly believe that anyway thank you so much for watching can't literally think things lizard brain gorilla arms diamond hands we're going to the moon together guys one bitcoin two bitcoin one million bitcoin let's get it